Well, uh, yesterday, the President had his uh, Secretary of Low Energy, Jennifer Granholm, make an announcement and a veto threat from the podium at the White House. It has to do with legislation that the House is about to pass that has to do with our emergency energy supply, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. And it says if we withdraw more, we need a plan for exploration of energy in the United States to refill that. I've introduced similar legislation in the Senate. The reason this is so important is because our emergency supplies are now at a 40-year low. And we've gotten to that point because President Biden, in the run-up to the elections, withdrew from our strategic reserve a million barrels of oil each and every day for six months, 180 days, 180 million barrels of oil. And he started doing it when energy prices, gasoline was at $5 a gallon, people were feeling the pain at the pump. It's nice to see that the President finally admits that there is a relationship between supply and demand and the cost of energy and gasoline at the pump. But yet the President continues to respond to the climate crazies who call the tune at the White House, which is why they killed the Keystone XL pipeline and why he continues to hammer on oil and gas exploration in America. Well, the price of gasoline is going up again. The American people know what they want. They want energy that is affordable, available, and reliable. They want it from here at home. They don't want us going to Iran or begging Saudi Arabia or Venezuela for oil and energy. But yet this war on energy by President Biden has hurt our energy grid and has hurt our energy security. And you don't have to think back very far to see it. Look at what happened at Christmas time with the cold snap that hit the country. People across the country were told to lower their thermostat, turn off their, elect uh, their Christmas lights, and don't plug in your electric vehicle because it was going to lead to brownouts or blackouts. And I'm not sure if the President or his sidekick, Secretary of Energy, even knows the fact that Vladimir Putin continues to subsidize the climate-crazy group of lobbyists and others who represent organizations that continue to lobby in this country against American energy. Putin has spent lots of money over, over a decade on this. These are the people that argue against pipelines, against energy infrastructure, against oil and gas exploration. In the meantime, my home state of Wyoming, energy breadbasket of America, is told we have to keep our affordable, available, and reliable energy in the ground. What's the President say he wants to do? Well, you heard the administration talking about banning gas stoves, and the President made a promise to the United Nations to send $11 billion each and every year to the UN for climate reparations. I am going to do absolutely everything I can as the ranking member of the Energy Committee in the Senate to make sure that the United States never, ever delivers on Joe Biden's promises.